Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the Red Ranger um, chickens. Um, they're really not a breed. They're just a, uh, a hybrid cross um, designed for um, generally pasture-raised broiler operations or meat operations. They have better legs, better body structure than your white Cornish crosses, so they're better at traveling around and foraging while putting on weight um, basically they'll get a five to six pound carcass in about 10 to 12 weeks depending on your pastures and how uh, um, how you're raising them if you're giving them extra feed or, or not it's, it's gonna depend on how fast they grow anyways they're very good birds they're very nice they are active they will you know run around um, They'll scratch. They'll dig. They'll do a lot of a lot a lot of stuff that some Cornish rock uh, broilers won't do. Um, so also they will start laying eggs at around 16 weeks. So if you were to hold them longer, you could get some eggs out of them. But just to be um, sure, um, or just for you to know that if you do hold them longer there's the potential for their uh, meat to um, taste I don't know what would be the correct word like uh, more gamey-ish um, you know as they get older and they're just scratching and doing everything that they're doing it could potentially um, affect the flavor but you'd also get higher weights too because they would be older so it's really you'd have to play around with it and see how things go it also depends on how long you to hold them if you're trying to get eggs I mean uh, a, for example a probably 18 week or 20 week old bird probably is going to taste the same as a 10 or 12 week old bird but if you're holding them up to a year or, or longer to collect all these eggs um, it, it might affect their taste so just keep that in mind uh, but most people use these Red Rangers for just a hundred percent meat production um, because they're a hybrid, they're a cross, they don't breed true, so you are going to have to just um, continually buy chicks um, or potentially hatching eggs depending on where you're sourcing them from. But you're going to have to continually buy chicks, raise them up, slaughter them out, and then buy a new batch. Uh, if you keep these, uh, if you retain some for breeder stock, the, the second generation chicks will not uh, hatch and raise up to be a hundred percent true to type like the parents were you'll get some that will look like their parents and operate like their parents do but then you'll get others that are gonna you know deviate from that because of the various genetics uh, ancestors that they used to create the hybrid so just know that you're gonna have to process a hundred percent of them that being said if you look in the um, if you want to look at them, the lighter colored ones are hens, the darker ones are males. A lot of the males have uh, black feathers on their tips of their tails, which would later grow into be like their sickles and such. Um, so that would be one way to distinguish them. But it really won't matter. Your males will uh, process, process out a little heavier than your females, but um, they're a pretty good bird. I recommend them if you're going to do pasture uh, or pasture poultry. Um, these will probably do a better job for you versus the standard white Cornish crosses, just because they're active and they will graze and scratch and uh, do everything you want them to do a lot better than your Cornish, um, and they will put on weight with less feed unlike your Cornish so um, anyways they're good bird good meat bird the only downside is is you can't continue it on your own you're gonna always gonna have to rely on um, sourcing new stock from hatcheries so pluses minuses uh, if you would please comment down below what your thoughts are if you um, have any other ideas about these birds i'd be interested to hear it and i'll see you next time thanks again